Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Sports Talk with me, Rika. What's going on, man? What's up? How you guys doing, man? <laughs> John Jones, John Jones kept his record. Listen, I, for for me, he's undefeated. I, I know that, that with, with Matt Hamill match that disqualified him to give him a loss. I don't think that's a loss for me. It's more, you know, it, 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 you know, John Jones to me, this is an ultimate fighter, man. This is this is if you're trying to be a, a, a you know, you 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 get into 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 ultimate fighting champion John Jones is this is a guy that you should you should try to 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 to, to you know follow after man you know I, I know St uh, Steven Seagal is very you know is mad because he was trying to uh, uh quote unquote oh let me teach John Jones a few moves and, and John Jones rejected it rejected him and ever since then everybody John Jones been fighting Steven Seagal has has, has helped him <laughs> it shows it shows how much that help really is. <laughs> Steven Seagal needs to sit down. You know, I mean, he's acting like a real fighter when he's not. But John Jones, you know, you know, he, you know, he sent he sent uh, 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 um, uh, Milchik uh, out a retirement after that fight. Uh, you know, <laughs> he said, "Hey, I'm done." You know, he, you know, Milchik record is twenty and five, and, and Daniel White tried to push for. Uh, um, the Aspinall fight, the time Aspinall fight. Aspinall is, you know, is, is 13 and 3. But uh, 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 John Jones don't want to, he's not worried about titles. He's not trying to worry about unifying, title, unifying the titles. So all you want, he's looking at, uh, you, know, you, you know, Alex Pereira, you know, for him, who's 12 and 2, it's a, it's a, it's a better fighter for him. He's looking at, you know, um, Aspinall is okay. You know, Aspinall is a great fighter. I'm not saying that he's not. He is a great fighter uh, to be 15 and 3. Which is you know, which is good. He lost you know those, those three losses were were were, were hot. It's pretty hard for him, but but looking at you know you know yes, Dana White as the CEO of the UFC, you know he this is what he wants. But at the same time, you gotta give up you know your fighter. Uh, John Jones you know has been the top biller, the top uh, person that, that 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 that's out there to make sure that the, you know. I'm not saying he's the one keeping the UFC afloat. I'm not saying that, but but since Joining MMA, doing all that stuff, he's been the one that, you know, one of the highest grossing for for, for UFC has been uh, uh, John Jones. Now, now there's other fighters there, but 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 John Jones bring out the crowd. Uh, those tickets are sold out quicker than than other people. You, you got you, you you know when when there's other fight, you wait weeks or or even the day of the fight for for a lot of those tickets to be sold out. But John Jones, you know, you know, you know, you know, a month before the fight, those tickets are sold out because people want to see him. He's a, he, you know, you you saw you saw uh, President like Donald Trump was there. He, 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 you know, <laughs> John Jones did the dance. Donald Trump's you know, <laughs> moves, you know, pay homage to him. Uh, um, but but the, again, that fight, when you look at it in, in terms of uh, uh, um, I mean, ultimate fighters, you know, uh, John Jones is, is is that. If I'm Dana White, I give John, I give him what he wants. But, but just in case, just in case that you know, if Dana White decide he doesn't want, you know, because he said, "Hey, it's either you fire Espinal or you retire," and John Jones don't want to retire, and, and, and his camp uh, um, contacted the the, the 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 Saudis, the Saudi, Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, willing to 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 have uh, John Jones as their fighters, you know, because they they putting together a team uh, of fighters to go against the UFC. And that, and and, and that's, they they've been doing that, uh, uh, putting that together for a while. It just that they, they you know they, you know, they don't have that 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 true number one um, uh, fighter yet. And, and, but if I, if if <laughs> you know, so so it's gonna be tough. But but if if for some reason that 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 Dana White decide, hey, we're not gonna renew. It's either you fight or, or you retire. You know, which is a, a coward move for Dana White. Uh, um, this is a fighter who's been. Who's been helping your brand for a long time? I think you, you know you should give him what he wants. If he said, "I want to fight this person," I want to fight that person. He, he, at this point, he's not worried about belt. He's not worried about the money. He's worried, worried about his legacy. Let me let me beat somebody, you, you know, uh, somebody else. So, you know, because you you look at Alex Pereira to him at twelve and two is a better fighter than than, than Aspinall to him. I'm not saying that Aspinall is not a great fighter, you know, but you want something different, you know, what I mean? so. We'll see what happens, but but Saudi Arabia is ready to give John Jones a lot of money, you know. After they they you know they see that he sent he sent Milchik out, you know, out of, you know he sent him to retirement, early retirement, 
you know, I, I twenty and five record. Say, hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was twenty and four. He said, take that, take that fifth loss, and 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 he's like, yo, uh, for me, for Stipe, he's looking at it. The next edge, the next person on top that he will fit, no matter what he does, is, is, is John Jones, and and that that was his test to see can can he can he handle that? He won a title. You want to you want the belt, and the the, the the person holding the belt is John Jones, so, so you know that you couldn't beat him. And he tested out. He, he couldn't say, "Hey, let me, let me, let me move on and retire. Let the young blood come in and, and do what they got to got to do." You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. But um, you know, what I mean? we'll see what happens. But anyway, man, I, 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 um, for a lot of people, you know, Netflix, man, Netflix messed up <laughs> big time. You know, they knew this fight with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul was coming. Yeah, they knew millions of people were gonna were gonna tune in to, to watch that fight in the same day. Not you know they should have been that Friday night. They should have been prepared for that. Uh, I was slow. Netflix owed me money, man. <laughs> but um, people people are upset. Mike Tyson did not not you know didn't you know Mike Tyson looked bad. In terms of footwork, guy's almost sixty, right? Fighting a twenty seven year old guy. People are upset. Oh, you know, Mike Tyson should have. Mike Tyson, by the way, to be to be in his to be his age, right? To be his age and and, and, and fighting, being in the shape that he is at sixty, almost sixty. How many of you guys could do that? Most 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 sixty years old you can't even move. So he did what he needed to do. He came in. He made twenty million dollars. Jake Paul make forty million dollars. You know what I mean? Kate, yeah, Katie. Make, make you know you know you know she make about seven million dollars even though I don't think that uh, uh, Serrano was a be was a better fighter you know she got cheated that fight she got cheated even though you know Katie you know had butt her you know, a few times and, and I was a big guy she you know thing was just like hang, you know hanging loose but Ser you know Serrano was a better fighter you know she lost not because she lost she lost because the the the, the refs you know you know, you know um, give give that fight to you know to, to Katie because I uh, um. You know, Jake Paul picked those refs. Those refs you know, got paid by Jake Paul. Jake Paul decided what's going on. Anyway, let me explain a little bit you know, with that fight with Mike Tyson. The contract that he signed. Mike Tyson signed a contract. If if he knocked out Jake Paul in the first round, he wouldn't get he wouldn't get a dime. Now there were a few openings where Mike Tyson could have knocked out Jake Paul. Right? The, you know, he went eight rounds. Eight rounds, part of the contract. He could not knock out Jake Paul. That's the contract Mike Tyson signed. He couldn't knock out Jake Paul. He couldn't do anything, which is why, yes, Mike Tyson was, you know, the whole fight. Yes, he, you know, he told he told everyone that he ha he, ha he has a biting fixation. You see, he, you know, people thought he was, he, you know, it was a it was a mouthpiece that he was adjusting. No, he kept biting his gloves, you know, because even at sixty. He is a trained killer. <laughs> Even at 60, Mike Tyson could have killed him. Right? Mike Tyson could have killed Jake Paul even at 60. But he didn't do that. He kept biting on, on the glove to remind him, hey, this you got $20 million. Just hang on. Yeah, the footwork was bad. Because he's 60. But but you you still see, you know, you saw a little glimpse of what Mike Tyson is. You know, you know what he what he what he could do. He made a huge payday. $20 million, if he did anything else, there were opportunities, you know, of course, Jake Paul finding a real fighter, If because if it, all the fights are, Jake Paul is not a real fighter. Can he throw a few punches? Yeah, but the, all the people he knocked out, all those people he beat, they were paid to do that. There's a contract. Mike Tyson also signed that contract that if he did that, if he knocked out Jake Paul, there were a few openings where he could have, you know, he could have knocked out, where he pushed him. He just pushed him. Cause, you know he had to open, and the, the the old Mike Tyson could have did that. He could have knocked him out, but but you saw what he, Mike Tyson was doing throughout the fight. I'm not saying that you know I watch a lot of Tyson fight. He does that, but not 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 like that. From that fight, you saw everything. He kept biting into the glove, biting into the glove because the rage was so much for Tyson. He's a trained fighter. He's a killer. The rage was so was so much for him. He would you know he had to remind himself this is a payday. Just take it. And payday. He was getting hit, but he's like, "Yo, this is a payday. Let me just make twenty million dollars, and that's it." Because if it wasn't for that, he would have knocked him out. And part of that, part of part of part of his contract was you cannot knock Jake Paul, Jake Paul out. 
He did that fight to 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 make Jake Paul become legitimate. That's what it is. But you but it's still stage. St still was was a stage fight. You know what I mean? But but he signed a contract to do what he had to do, and he did. He accomplished that. To be almost sixty, uh, fight eight. You know, have eight round fights. Uh, you know, you know that that's tough. But he did it. He got he got paid his money. It was a sold out event. So many people were there. You, you know what I mean? So you gotta give credit to Mike Tyson for you know for what he did, man. So for the people who are just talking crazy, just leave it alone. Anyway, I, I, I'm Joe Douglas. Joe Douglas with, with the Jets losing like that. Joe Douglas know that his time in New York is over. Uh, I, I, you know he's already in contact with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, if, if the Jets, you know, what, well, not if when the Jets fired him, to, you know, at the end of the season, the New York Jets will fire Joe Douglas at the end of the season. Once they fire him. He know what he's gonna do. He's going back to the Baltimore Ravens. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk m m more about that in a, in a little bit. But anyway, man, sports talk. Like, subscribe, and share, man. You know, peace out. I appreciate the love. All right, peace out.